Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do a little chatty get ready with me if my cats will allow and I want to play with the old school Jaclyn Hill palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. I think it's one of my most used palettes besides like my face palettes and I have always wanted to play with this purple color here and today we're going to do it. So, let's get started, shall we? Y'all, well, it's been a struggle bus to get here today. I just set everything up again. Yesterday I filmed in my living room because I couldn't even get myself to do it. And, I don't know, my cat has been pooping a lot. I hope he's okay. It's kind of soft, but it's not like diarrhea-like, I guess. Anyways. All right, so we're gonna do our eyes first. I'm using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Why don't we zoom you in? I'm gonna be going in with a Morphe M573 and the shade here, and I'm gonna put that in my crease. So yeah, like I was saying, I just got back from Rocky Point, and I'm pretty sure my cat is sick, but they ate a lot of dry food while we were gone and normally we feed them wet food so I'm just kind of hoping that it's just the food change and not that he's actually sick so I'm gonna see if it goes into tonight I'm gonna make him an appointment tomorrow it's not bad and he's fine he is fine you guys you'll probably hear him making tons of noise in the background just gave them some food and he always gets so wild after he eats then he goes right to sleep so yeah i was in mexico it was super fun i had such a great time i was there from monday to sunday I went with my parents during the week. My mom is retired and uh, yeah, my dad took off work. So they were there from Monday to Friday. And then my husband and my best friend and her boyfriend came on Thursday and it was super fun. And then my parents left and my best friend and her boyfriend stayed, and my husband, and we came back on Sunday. It was super good. We go to Rocky Point. If you've ever heard of that, it is in the Baja, um, right under Arizona. It is only about a four hour drive. So I like to go there a lot. Four hours to the beach, and it's super warm at the beach. Not just outside, but the water. You can go into the ocean water. You can actually go into the ocean water and it's not freezing cold. It's so nice. So I'm just building this color up. Now I'm gonna use, I just wanna go darker and a little bit purplier. I'm taking a Morphe M433. And I'm gonna go in with the shade here. And we're gonna put that in the outer V. I'm actually going to take a Morphe R41. It's just a little pencil brush. And I'm gonna pack the color on and then blend it out with the 433. I want this to be nice and dark. And then I'm gonna blend. And I'm just gonna dip my M433 in just like the tiniest bit of product and blend that. And then I'm gonna take that first brush and I'm just gonna take that color just to make sure that the edges are blended. So as you can see, my skin has been clearing up. The ocean brought back this guy. Other than that, it's 
been pretty decent. I have been on a new birth control for almost a month and I think it's going well. I don't necessarily feel as good as I did on the last one, but no breakouts, so that's always good. <sighs> Story time. When I was in Mexico, I brought my Jeffree Star liquid skin frost with me because I like being sparkly at the beach, right? In your bikini, be a little sparkly. Yeah, well, I don't suggest wearing sparkles if you're gonna be in the sun for a long period of time or if you're gonna be in strong sun. I don't even know if I wanna show you guys. I got like third degree burns. Um, okay, it's second degree. Technically what I got via sunburn is a second degree sunburn. I'm being dramatic, but. Okay, I'll show you. Oh, it doesn't even look that bad in these lights. Oh, can you see? Yeah, my chest is pretty bad. It's all bumpy. <sighs> it itches so bad. And it's like little blisters. Can you see my arm? Do you see all that? I have some goosebumps, it's cold in here, but like, look at that. It's all blistered. They blistered and they turned red. And it's because I got sunburned in those areas. Because you guys, when you put those sparkles on and you go to the beach and you're in the intense sun, it's like a magnifying glass. It's like a magnifying glass on your skin. And I did not realize it. And this happened to me with the Fenty stuff. I don't know if anyone remembers that. But this happened to me with the Fenty stuff and I returned it because I thought that it was the formula that gave me the rash. Yeah. No. It was because I was in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean sun, and I got burned like right away in those areas. Can you believe that? And I've never really seen anyone talk about that but yeah having highlighter on will probably burn your skin if you're in intense sun so just a tip for everyone out there who's like me and if you're going to the beach just be careful I had 50 on underneath. It's not like I wasn't wearing sunscreen. I put 50 on underneath and then I put the sparkle on top and I still got really burned. Really, really burned. For the main attraction, I'm taking my MAC 242 brush and I'm gonna go in with this gorgeous purple shade. I am gonna wet my brush with a little Fix Plus. I'm gonna put that on our lid. And almost do like a cut crease with it. And then I'm gonna take my little pencil brush again in that same color on the outer edge and I'm just gonna try to make sure to blend the middle together and then I'm gonna lift my eye up and blend that dark right where the purple is. And then I'm going to go through that with the first color that we use. Just to make sure that's blended. Yep. That's what I wanted. I'm going to deepen up the outer edge a little bit. 
I'm even gonna go in with the same pencil brush with a little bit of this color mixed with this color. Just to deepen that up. Love that. All right, and then really gently, I am gonna bring this in. All right, with this 433 brush, just gonna make sure we are seamless. No additional product, just using what's on there. And then that first brush we use, so pretty. All right, I am gonna do that on the other eye. Mm -hmm. Let me clean that up a little bit. I don't want to keep the edge round though. I'm gonna. Okay, so I zoomed you out so that we can start on our face and then we'll move to the lower lash line. I am loving how this turned out, you guys. One palette. One palette. First, I am going to prime my face. I'm using the Kanan Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer, and this has SPF 50 in it, which is really nice. And I'm gonna put that in my T-zone. I had to find a dark foundation, so I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation, and I'm using the shade Classic Ivory, but I feel like this is pretty dark. Yeah, look how dark it is. And then I am just gonna blend that in with a beauty blender. Sticky. Wonder if it's supposed to be sticky. It's so light. How do you get so light? It looks so dark. So light. Next I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Light Neutral. And I'm going to blend with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to set that with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. And then to brush away the bake and to set the rest of my face, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25 with my Morphe E41. or products that they love, but accidentally buy an extra of the extra. I kind of did that this week. The Benefit Goof Proof Brow was on sale, half price. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I use my extra, so I need a refill anyways. Nope, I have an extra. But I did get a darker color. I usually do the four, and I'm trying to, and I want to see what the 4.5 kind of looks like, because sometimes I feel like it is too late. So now I'm using the Park Ave Princess palette from Tarte and I am going to go in with this shade right here and my Morphe R2. We're going to bronze that face right up. I like this shade for bronzing. It has a little bit of like a shimmer to it so it gives you a little bit of a glow. I'm just gonna kind of run that all over because that foundation was super light. Don't forget under the chin. Ooh, that is so natural. Really, really, really loving that. And then I'm just gonna take my BH Cosmetics with that same color. And this is what I call a large shader brush. I love it for my nose contour because it keeps it contoury but not too harsh and it's big, so it doesn't take a lot of time. And it's because I just did it really harsh, but you'll see. Now I'm gonna contour with my NARS Eda brush and a mixture of these two shades right here. Ooh, I love this palette. 
That chisel is real. And then I'm gonna blend with my BH Cosmetics brush. This stuff blends so nice too. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Morphe R10 brush and the two lighter shades. And the nose. Yes, blend out that contour. A tiny bit on the forehead and under our contour a little bit. And then I'm just gonna blend that all with my BH Cosmetics brush. Woo! Love it. I really do. Love it. For blush, I'm going to be using the Note Cosmetics blush in Desert Rose. And I'm using that with my Luxie 504 brush. Perfect. And then blend again. Okay, I'm going to do my under eye. I'm gonna put a little bit of powder under my eyes. And I'm gonna zoom you in. Okay, so first I am gonna start off with this Morphe M322 brush and I'm gonna go in with that transition shade that we use, this one right here. I'm gonna smoke that out under my lower lash line. Like that, nice and smoky. And then I'm gonna take a flat definer brush, a Morphe M432, and I'm gonna take a mixture of those dark shades that we used, this one and this one. And I'm gonna push that up against my lower lash line. <laughs> Ooh, itching. And I like to do this trick with my flat definer, it helps me know where my shadow should end. I'll show you again on this side. And then I just kind of push it in and then I'll blend it out later. And then I am going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Voodoo. And I'm going to put that on my waterline. I do want to drag this purple color down a little bit. I'm going to take that same pencil brush that we have been using, the R41, and those same two darker shades. And I'm going to blend, I'm going to smoke this purple out a little bit. And I'm also going to blend that up top. And then I'm going to take that original M322 in the transition color. I'm going to blend that out, smoke it out. All right, now I'm going to wipe away that bake. All right, I'm going to zoom you out. I'm going to go do my brows and my lashes, and I will be right back for highlight and lips. All right, lashes and eyebrows are on. I feel like I love this look. It is so pretty. Oh my God, look, oh my God, yay. Okay, um, so we are gonna throw on some highlight now. I am using the Dose of Colors collaboration with Desi and Katie in the shade Fuego. This is from their first launch, but I did pick up another one because I feel like I don't use it because I thought it was limited edition and I didn't want to run out. So I love this, I love this highlighter. It's so pretty. I did pick up the um, other new one, the Chasing the Sun, Give Me Sun. And I'm excited for that. I think it'll be good for my tan right now. All right, and then I'm also gonna put a little bit of that on my brow bone. I'm just gonna use this little flat brush from BH Cosmetics. Ooh! 
gonna put a little bit of blush on top. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in to the Jaclyn Hill palette again. And I'm gonna use this guy right here. Ooh, girl. Okay, now let's do lips really quick. I am using the Kylie Jenner lip liner in Candy K. Then I am taking the Tardiest Lip Paint in Namaste. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I love the way this turned out. Really like the lip with it too actually. Nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look. I love doing purple tones. I know I say that all the time, but I just think they are so pretty with my eyes and just in general, purple is my favorite color. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you're notified when I upload. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so make sure to check my channel for new videos on those days. And if you'd like to comment below what type of look you'd like to see next, that would be great. I think I want to do something rainbow, something like dramatic and rainbowy. So I think that's the next look I'm going to do. Also, I have filmed a couple of Halloween tutorials. So look out for those in October as well. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy byes. Oh, they're just so bad, you guys. Oh, truth went out. Yes. I'm almost out. And then, huh. way too much powder. Oh, I found it. Yes. I lost the tip. That's what she said. I lost the tip. <laughs>